Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you all how to make a teleport brick. Let's start out by adding a part into workspace. This is what we will be touching. I'm going to change the size and also make sure that you anchor it so it stays in place. Now, let's make the place that you'll teleport to. Let's duplicate the part and then move it up a bit so that your player won't get stuck in your ground. Then make sure that you set your transparency to 1 so you don't see it and can collide to false so you can go right through it. Then of course still make sure that it's anchored so it won't fall through the ground. You'll also want to make sure that you name it something unique. So in this example, I'm going to name it Telly Part 1 because if you have anything else named the same, it'll confuse the script. Alright, now inside of our first part, let's add in a new script. Inside that script, we're going to do script.parent, which is our actual brick, dot touch to connect function, and then h. That's actually just what's touching our brick. We're going to define humanoid as h.parent, so that's the actual player, and we're going to see if we can find humanoid. If it's a humanoid, it's most likely a real player. Then we're going to see if it's actually there, and if it is, we're going to teleport the player. We're going to do this by using cframe to move the humanoid root part, and then teleporting it to our teleport brick. We can locate it by going to workspace, which is where the actual parts are located, and then doing telepart1.position. Let's say that you wanted to have multiple teleport bricks. All you would do is duplicate all of the bricks that we have made in this video, and then you would rename your new position part to something unique, and then refer to it as that new name in your second teleport brick. And now when we step on the brick, we are teleported to our selected location. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. See ya!